Hello and welcome. So today I'm gonna unbox vacuums. Well, just kidding. Well, <clears throat> those are toys. So more recently we've been doing a lot of vacuum reviews. Our kid really like them, and he been playing with the the big machines. Uh, but we figure, you know what? If he likes it so much, then we just give him some toys, <laughs> the actual vacuum toys that he can play with. So here we have two different Dyson that we can find a Dyson ball a toy and also a cord free vacuum not only they are a toy that's very alike like the actual vacuum but they also have a suction function these are all H3 and up so just keep that in mind um, well let me just start with the, the quarters one uh, I guess the instruction at the connecting two. Uh, that's so small. Wow, the the dustbin actually opens just like the real thing. All right, so this is all the parts. Let's see, the heads are interchangeable. Voila! Dyson vacuum. But how exactly does it work? Okay, that's stupid. It requires batteries. Hello! <laughs> On the bottom, there's a battery tray. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew it. And it required three double A batteries. All right, let's see if it works. Oh, <laughs> this is legit. Look at the particle inside. Whatever the vacuum suck in, we're going to this. If you ever have a Dyson before, this will be the where the filter is. So it will be collecting in the filter. So once you open up the uh, trash bin, then all the particles should fall off from here. So I think that's how it works. Uh, fire up. Okay, there. All right, so next I'm going to open up the Dyson ball. All right, so here it is. Uh, Let's open this up. This is also H3 and up. All right. So this has much less stuff in there than the cores. Also a instruction, handlebar. Oh, okay. So the handle, you had to really press it down. You had to hear the click sound just now. You wanted for it to securely place inside the vacuum. Otherwise, it would just like keep coming off. Uh, we, we were wondering like, what gives? <laughs> so this thing requires four C batteries. Let's install this. Again, it's the center piece here where you have to unscrew and push down a little bit okay, I didn't realize that thing was on the arm button Anyway, so that's it. Screw this back on. Okay. <clears throat> so if you have used Dyson before, there's a top on button here. I think this, what that button does is just spinning the, the stuff inside the container. But there's another on and off button on the back here. Now, 
And just FYI, this thing actually able to uh, do some vacuuming. So when you turn this on, yeah, the bottom portion is actually on. So that's where the actual vacuuming will be happening. Unlike the real Dyson, this thing does not come off. The canister does not come off. Anyway, so we're gonna have our kid to play with it and see how he will like it. As I mentioned earlier, uh, both these toys, they can actually do some vacuuming. Now don't expect too much out of it. Now the dirt has to be very fine. Uh, so I have here some tissue paper that's being teared up. I have this little one here. And... Yeah, as you can see, it went... Everything pretty much went in. Now the way that you dump out the dirt right up in here i'm not quite sure if you can see it now see the the stuff came out from this uh, opening here from this opening here now at times if your stuff is kind of large it might get stuck inside here yeah i'm not sure you can see it but there's some particle tissue paper that's stuck in here Yeah, well, it works. <laughs> Alright, let's try out the ball, Dyson ball. So the on off switches for the vacuuming is on the back. Yep. They all got sucked in. So the way that you take out the trash is on the back. See, all the tissue paper went in here. So this might be a little bit tight, but you need to pull this part out. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, they, they can vacuum. All right, so here are some of the side-by-side -side comparison between the toy and the actual vacuum themselves. Uh, as you can see, the ball version, they are very similar. And just this is miniature version of it. And then I have the handheld one on the side as well. Dyson handheld we have doesn't come with a connecting tube, but I do have other brands of vacuum that has a connecting tube. And as you can see, this is like the miniature version of it as well. So I am really impressed with this toy. And now our kid really loves it. Uh, he been playing with it since ever since we got this toy. Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind is uh, if you do decide to use the vacuum function, uh, so I don't know if this applies to every kid, um, but our kid, uh, he has issue with noise, like motor noise. So whenever the toy vacuum turns on, he gets scared. But we don't typically have the battery inside in case he accidentally turn it on. But he loves this toys. Uh, he been playing with it and he been messing around with it and pretending that he's vacuuming. I mean, it is a great tool to kind of get the kid involved with uh, doing chores because you want to start them out young, right? So yeah, and for the quarters vacuum, he also like to uh, take it apart the connecting tube and the heads and then put it back on yeah that's something that he enjoyed doing as well so he spent a lot of time on this toys <laughs> yeah i think this is money well spent so anyway hope you guys like this video if you have any questions comment down below until next time bye